Hi and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I want to do, uh, talk about one plant. My absolute favorite. I've never ever uh, had a plant or seen a plant that I liked so much. This is uh, Cissus Amazonica. Uh, it's from Brazil. Uh, it's called the, the jungle, Amazon jungle one. And it's gorgeous. Uh, I think it looks like the alocasia poly, uh, but a very small climbing. Uh, kind of it. yeah the growing tips and the back of the leaves are burgundy I think the, the young shoots are so cute as I said it's climbing it can also be kept hanging I've seen pictures of it shingling up uh, uh, tree trunks in the wild or in botanic gardens or something and they can do that too um so it's a really cool plant and i've i don't know if i've i've heard about this particular plant before i bought it but uh what i read when i got it and was uh, researching how to care for it i read that it, it's supposed to be very hard to look after and very hard to keep alive hard to root and so on and it's real it really isn't one thing that people find hard is that she requires a lot of water she likes her soil to be moist and uh, to me that that's uh, a big plus because I'm I'm over water I over water my plants all the time so um, so I'm just happy that she requires a lot of water. Uh, she also likes uh, high humidity. I read somewhere that uh, she's supposed to demand 80% humidity. But I have now uh, lots of different plants within this of this species and uh, none of them have had that high uh, humidity. Mm -hmm. She will like it, of course, uh, the high humidity. But but you can keep her in sixty percent, fifty percent humidity without problems, as long as her soil is uh, moist. That's the important thing. Uh. And if she dries out, uh, she dries out from the tip and inwards so the growing tip may die uh, if you uh, miss a water ring but uh, then she just grows a new one so i don't really see the problem mm. yes when i bought it i bought a, a big pot full of uh, i think i counted like 30 cuttings with roots stuck in in the same pot and that just made a chaos and as you can see this is the pot where i have the most different stems i think i have a one two three four five six i think there's six in half seven maybe and um it creates a mess <laughs> uh, she has this uh tendrils that uh she cling, uh, clings onto anything uh, and everything and usually herself so the more growing tips you have the more of a chaos it is and I kind of like the simple aesthetics of just a couple of stems just a few stems uh, and I like to see a climb but uh, 
for the purpose of showing you the plant I chose one that's not climbing. It's easier in this way. I think it's so beautiful and I'm so happy to have it and I'm also really happy that I didn't re read anything about how difficult she was supposed to be before I bought her. I might have left her in the shop then. I've only had her a couple of uh, months and so far I have no, I haven't had any problem with her. Um, some of my plants had spider mites recently, um, but I didn't see any mites on any of my scissors, um, scissors Amazonica. So this Amazon jungle vine, vine I re would really recommend uh, to especially people who overwater the, the plants. Have you seen scissors Amazonica in any shops near you? Because I hadn't be before I came across this one and um, and I think it's a shame because it's a wonderful plant and I really hope that more people will get to experience growing her. Thank you for watching and I hope you uh, keep watching my videos and I'll be happy if you subscribe and if you like this video please and give, give a thumbs up and uh, yeah bye